hello guys welcome to another video of docker in this video we are going to discuss and understand everything about docker desktop we will see how we can see or how we can you can check all the images which we have in our docker desktop and how we can see everything or how we can even monitor everything from docker desktop okay we can even uh, manage our settings or we can manage even the images or containers we can even delete the containers pause all the containers from here okay and we will also use uh, command line docker command line to do the things from docker cli and we'll set up and check how we can see that inside our docker desktop okay for that we will use the docker hub repository which i already have created if you have not seen the videos my previous videos about docker go and watch i have explained everything about installing docker desktop installing the docker cli as well as creating account in docker hub okay so let's now begin this is my docker desktop and here i am working with docker cli okay so let me quickly just check the docker containers you can see only one container is running at the moment and the container id is this one and let me here is the name can con2 and let me check this in my docker desktop so if you come here in docker desktop we have the options like here in containers you can see all the containers which you have created here okay so these are all the container names this one con1 con2 and what is the status so you can see only this container has been running and others are exited okay you can see the ports as well on which port the container is running how much cp is cpu being utilized in here okay and you can see the last started date okay apart from there you can perform few of the actions like if you want to start this container you can start it from here you can even stop the containers from here so if you don't have much command inside the docker cli you can also use docker desktop to desktop to manage your containers okay suppose i want to delete this container i will click on delete and you can delete forever so this container will be deleted okay let me now delete all the containers okay we just had seen like one of my container was running let me run this command again so this cont2 has been running and this is also showing here so let me now delete this now i don't have any containers run, running inside the docker desktop let me check in the docker cli as well let me run this command docker ps and you can see i don't have any containers running inside it okay because we have deleted all the containers from the docker desktop okay so you can basically manage the containers from docker desktop as well and now let me just quickly create one container let me go here and type the command to create the container so this is the command to create the content i have already explained all of these inside my previous docker videos docker run hyphen hyphen name this is my container name so let's use different container name this time so change this to test hyphen docker okay something like this this is my port number this is running on 80 and 8080 port number okay hyphen d and this is the image name image name i am taking it from my docker hub okay 
let me run this command and you can see this container has been created type docker ps and you can see this test docker container has been created now let's go to docker desktop and in, in the containers you can see the new container has been created test docker is now created and it's running so whatever you want to do you can you can stop this container you can delete this container or whatever you want to do it you can do this if you click on three dot you can different uh, you can see the different other properties as well like to restart the container to view files to open in terminal okay and other thing if you if you want to view details click on view details and you will see the logs about your container okay if you want to run some commands you can click on exec and you can run the commands on this okay you can click on states to see the states about your container you can see on the files to check all the files inside the container you can check the mounts here and you can inspect it from here okay basically you get one json kind of file here about your container here in the logs you can see all the logs and all the details about your container is here let me go back again all the containers will show here and if you want to check the images like how many images you have inside your docker hub or maybe in your local you can see all the images here inside this okay. all the images inside local you will see everything here okay and if you want to see that this inside your docker hub you can sign in this and you'll see all the things in there as well same is the case with images uh, containers and images you can run it and you can create the container with this and apart from this you can run other commands as well and you can delete it from here okay let me quickly remove this container and see if this is being removed from here or not okay let me run this container run this command okay and type docker ps so no container is running now and let me see in the docker desktop you can see all the containers are deleted which i have and no container is running like this uh, you can uh, even pull the images and run the containers from here as well if you click on run you can provide other settings like if you want to create one container with this image suppose you want to provide some port something like this if you want to create some volumes and attach it you can attach it from here and or i you can pass some environment variables from here and click on run so that it will create one container with this image okay if you go to containers you can see this container has been created you can either start it okay so this is failing because a uh, port is not available at the moment so if you select the different port of course this will run okay so like this we can even create the containers from docker desktop using the images which you have in here okay if you want to pull some images you can pull that as well or it will show you all the images which you have pulled using your docker cli you can use all those images to create the containers if you check the volumes you can create the volumes from your containers and you can attach those volumes 
in the container so that uh, whenever you are storing some data in that all the data will not lost when you remove the containers okay like this you'll see all the bills if you have built your uh, docker images from docker file you will see everything here okay so the if you have some docker file uh, if you have something like that you can uh, i mean see everything in here okay and if you want to run some analysis or see if I have some if if i have some issues in my docker images you can select your docker image here and you can run run the analysis so that it will show you how many issues which your image is having like uh, i just ran the analysis on this image and you can see uh, this image has three critical severities one medium severity and 49 as low okay so make sure you can uh, you you scan your image with this and fix your critical issues before deploying the same in production or using it somewhere so if you click on this you will get more details about it as well okay and you can fix the issues based on your requirement if you have some extra if you want to some inst install some extra third party tools inside your docker desktop to extend is its working fun functionality you can always come here in the extensions and you can install everything in here okay uh, you have so many extensions available here available here you can use any of them based on your requirement okay so this is how we can create the containers we can create the images or we can uh, pull basically the images we can even build the images we can create the volumes we can run the analysis on our docker images and even we can run the extensions as well or we can basically install the extensions here in the docker desktop okay and uh, we have also seen how we can even create the containers from command line and how it will show up here in the doc docker desktop even if we pull the images from docker cli all the images will show up here basically these uh, we can see docker desktop if you don't have proper knowledge in docker cli you can create all the containers directly from docker desktop in windows and you can work with your containers directly from here okay so that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching